My friends, it just keeps happening. Actually, I take that back. It happened. The very best speedrun ever performed. A speedrun so shocking that the runner himself didn't know what to do with it for over a year until finally revealing it to the world. A speedrun requiring so much skill and specialty that honestly, and I never say this, I truly think it will never be matched by anyone throughout the rest of the entirety of human history. This, my friends, is the story of Perfect Ace's Bunker 1 Secret Agent World Record. Here we go! So Bunker 1 Secret Agent is the fifth level in GoldenEye 007 on the middle difficulty. And this makes for one of the most jam-packed, high skill demanding stages in the game. You need to shoot at four cameras to complete one objective, destroy the cameras. You need to slay this guard, usually with one clean headshot for his key which unlocks the glass door at the end, and you need to pause at least twice. Once for the camera to take a photograph of the large screen, and again for the key analyzer in order to copy and throw the golden eye key, which you must pick up from this table where Boris stands before doing so. These are the two other objectives. All this takes less than 30 seconds, making it truly one of the most high pace, high skill, fast reflex stages in the game, which demands a masterful control of Bond. Cameras can take either five shots to destroy on the body of the camera, or more preferably, one clean shot if it's on the lens. So on an ideal run, you would hit four clean lens shots on the four cameras. But I mean, surely no one is good enough to do that. Particularly the last camera typically was approached by firing the KF-7 at it while strafing, in hopes of one of those bursts hitting it in the lens. On April 14th, 2004, a new untied world record of 23 seconds was set on Bunker 1's secret agent by GoldenEye speedrunner and American everyman Jimbo. Now this was roughly 7 years after the game was released, but just in the sort of era where speedrun completions were starting to become decent. Far from optimized, but honest, hardworking, and decent. It can be challenging to complete all the cameras, get the keycard, snap the picture, analyze the key, and hit the warp, but Jimbo did all of that in 23 seconds, completing a new untied world record. Speedrunning was an incredibly niche concept back then, and so no one really had any idea of what an optimized or perfect speedrun might look like on any level. Your best hope was to just get something decent, and that's what this run was. 23 was tied almost immediately, about two days later, by GoldenEye legend and champion at the time, Big Boss Man, and it would go on to be tied by nine more players over the next few years. Basically by that point, any solid up and coming player who would go on to set numerous world records in GoldenEye, well, Bunker 1 Secret Agent 23 was one they were probably going to get at some point along the way. One of these players towards the end of Bunker 1 Secret Agent 23's life cycle was a man by the name of Eddie Lovins. Now, Eddie was a top 10 player of his time and a very intelligent man at that. Eddie correctly identified just how powerful the technique of quick pausing truly was. You see, anytime you load up a level and pause, the game has to render in Bond's watch and arm. However, subsequent pauses are faster than the first pause, up to a total of seven pauses, and then it just doesn't get any faster. Now, because Bunker 1 Secret Agent necessitates at least two pauses, one for the camera and one for the key analyzer, since these items cannot be swapped to, rather only selected in the pause, this means that with no quick pausing, your first and second pauses will take 3.65 and 3.35 seconds respectively, a total of 7 seconds flat. However, Eddie realized there was a brief moment just as you open the first door, where you can perform a quick pause in one or two frames, tapping start twice in that span, without losing any physical, real time as the door opens. This process saves in-game time and real time because that first quick pause initiates the 3.65 second pause, but it only took a frame or two to initiate it, and so you didn't lose any time in doing so, and it sped up the subsequent pauses. These two pauses now take 3.35 and 3.13 seconds. 
Do the math, and we've now saved 0.52 seconds with this technique. A half a second. It's hard to believe, but it's true. With a keen eye, you can barely see the ammo on screen in the bottom right corner disappear for one or two frames on Eddie's run, which is the moment of a quick pause. The ammo doesn't always disappear on quick pauses, but in a case like this, you know he did it correctly. Eddie would deliver this run into Bunker 1's Secret Agent 23 Seconds, which he performed on June 20th, 2007. This remarkable save of half a second facilitated a couple things at this moment in GoldenEye history. For one, it facilitated Eddie and a couple of others matching the Bunker 1 Secret Agent 23 pretty easily. But for two, it woke up the big dogs of the game at the time, the New Era Champions, namely Perfect Ace and Dave True Faith Clemens, who had raced to get a new untied world record of 22 seconds. True Faith would do just that on June 24th, 2007, only four days after Eddie's revelation. Perfect Ace would tie this just another four days later, on June 28th, 07, and Big Boss Man would join the party a few months later with his own 22 in December of that year. So suffice to say that this quick pausing technique definitely helped move the notch forward in the history of Bunker 1 Secret Agent speedrunning. Here are Clem and Jimbo's runs side by side. You can see a notable difference in speed and accuracy with Clem's 22, and remember this early portion before the first pause into the camera doesn't even save the 0.5 seconds from the quick pauses yet, and so this only serves to make up even more time later. So Clem's 22 is probably just well more than a full second better than Jimbo's 23. You know, his overall movement and accuracy is better in general. And so perhaps his 22 here was even close to 21, which makes sense given how the optimization of the game progressed through these years in the mid to late 2000s specifically. You know, a lot of times that were just decent in the early to mid 2000s became more and more optimized throughout those years. Clem realized he was pretty close to 21 seconds and with a bit more grinding in February 2008, well, he would complete just that. If we watch Clem's 21 beside his 22, we can see they have very similar starting three camera shots, but the 21 makes up time with a cleaner ending, getting an additional boost and a faster warp out the door. Just enough to make it a 21. And this 21 would set up one of the most compelling world record scenarios, which would last over the next decade. About two months later, Perfect Ace would match this 21, setting up a classic Ace Clam tied record, which were emblematic of this era of GoldenEye speedrunning. It felt that practically every good world record in this game from 2008 to 2010 was held by one of these two runners, if not both. Ace's original comment from his 21 shares, however, I got this a few times, and a bunch of 20 speed fails, missing only one camera. My friends, could 20 seconds be possible? Well, perhaps, but we'll leave that in the back of our minds for now. Ace would also leave it on the back burner, occasionally checking in, playing some Bunker 1 Secret Agent with his other gameplay, getting some relatively close calls over the years, but nothing too cuspy just yet. It would be six long years, believe it or not, before another player would join Clement Ace with a share of Bunker 1's Secret Agent 21, when finally Luke Sklar's in 2014, on his rise to Gold Knight Champion, would match the time with a very fine run. Most players were still keen to just get 22 or 23 seconds and call it a day, never desiring to visit Bunker 1's Secret Agent again. So it's understandable that only these great players and future champions were able to obtain the time. It would be until 2017 that a fourth and final player, Dan Swiss Parker, would come along and join the trio with his very own 21-second tied world record. 
and it's truly amazing that this was the final ever world record set on the stage at the time of 21 seconds. But that would be all. It's really worth drilling down this time of 21 seconds for a moment. Through 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, not one single new person would join this group at 21 seconds. You know, Ace loved playing the level and could cake these 21 seconds all day long if he wanted, but no new player would get 21 seconds themselves. This is incredibly unusual for a number of reasons. 2017 and 18 saw quite a boom in newcomers to GoldenEye speedrunning, many of whom would go on to set numerous world records and have great speedrunning careers in the game, but none of these players got Bunker 1 Secret Agent 21. The great Cali W? No Bunker 1 Secret Agent 21. Past champions Golden Irie and Wotus Reclaw? No 21s. The absolute legend Carl Jobst? No 21. Though a fun fact is that he was the one who actually got the first ever 24 on the stage as an untitled record back in 2002, and he did get his own 22 second time in 2014, but no 21. You know, these are some great players who just never got 21 on Bunker 1 Secret Agent. Even the great Mark Rutsu, no 21, only a 22, which is in surprisingly good quality for Mark Rutsu, by the way, so pretty nice stuff. And that run is actually pretty decent. I think Mark, like many of these other players, could have gotten 21 if they put in a grind to get it, but for one reason or another, they just never got around to it, or never enjoyed the level, focusing on other stages, or perhaps Bunker 1 Secret Agent 21 is just truly that good of a time. But there's something I left out there. On May 22nd, 2018, after an on and off grind for about 5 years and about 200 hours total gameplay, Perfect Ace, live on stream, achieved a time that has become his white whale for years, like Captain Ahab chasing Moby Dick, when Ace finally completed Bunker 1's Secret Agent 20 seconds. To say this run was truly remarkable would be an understatement. Here are some comments left on the original video of the run. This run is so insane, hard to pick the strongest record, but this has to be up there. Couldn't have dreamt it up any better. Great world record. This is as close to perfect as we will ever see. The perfect run. I wonder how long it's going to take for somebody to tie this. Truly incredible run with little to no room for improvement. Holy cow, this is optimized. Maxed out record. This is for the ages. Great work. Ace himself in a reply asking how long his grind took wrote, A long time. I played the level on and off starting from early 2013, had around a dozen 21s and several 20 fails and paces along the way, and only managed to complete it in 2018. I don't remember exactly how long it took, but I estimate somewhere between 150 to 200 hours in total. The most jarring amazement of this Bunker 1 Secret Agent 20 is simply that Ace hits every camera in full speed with one shot. One clean lens shot. Even this further away third camera, he manages to hit in one shot. It's just truly beautiful. A show of pure GoldenEye skill and domination. If we watch this run side by side with Jimbo's 23, it just looks like we're playing in a completely different universe. Now, as the years dragged on, there was little change on Bunker 1's Secret Agent. Ace had 20, the other trio had 21, and just no one else could get in on 21 or lower. However, there was a strategy development on the Agent difficulty, which is an easier version of the stage, as there's no camera objective to shoot them all out. You still do need to snap a picture of the big screen and analyze the GoldenEye key, but that's it. And so you see with the Control Style 2.4, which, by having virtue of some glitched properties, allows you to perform actions in the ending cutscene of the levels or as the level is fading out, you could save that second pause towards the very end of the stage after you've cracked the door open. It's a slow opening door, you pause as it slowly opens. At this point, you switch to Control Style 2.4, hope to get boosted out the door and analyze the GoldenEye key in the fade out of the level completing that objective. This can be tricky to pull off, the timing of it has to be really perfect, but it does seem advantageous. It's hard to get a gauge on how much time it might save, it really might only be 0.2 or 0.3 seconds, if that. 
But it is worth noting that the first two performances of Bunker 1 Agent 16 Seconds, the current world record on Agent, performed by Carl Joffs and Clemens, did not use this technique. However, every subsequent person to achieve 16, and there's been 13 players to do that to the state, did use the 2.4 ending technique. This statistical evidence would suggest that the 2.4 ending must save at least some time, or at least must make the ending more consistent or easier to pull off, given that it's pretty tough to get a perfect non-2.4 ending with a beautiful fast warp out the door. The warp is even harder on Secret Agent, by the way, where there's less lag, due to the alarm not going off on the stage, since we're so stealthy shooting the cameras and going at the back door of the first room, avoiding the alarm going off. So, the 2.4 ending probably saves a little bit of time. With that being said, the years carried on and on and Bunker 1 Secret Agent 20 remained untied, and still not one single person joined Clem, Luke, or Swiss at 21 seconds on the stage. 20 began to be more frequently considered among the game's very greatest records, perhaps the number one very best untitled record in all of Goldeneye. And most would have been happy to leave it there, let their record remain as an untouchable, untied world record, becoming one of the oldest in the game's history. In fact, into the beginning of 2023, Ace's Bunker 1 Secret Agent 20 was apparently the second oldest untitled record, still unmatched in Goldeneye, behind only the train double agent 148 of Weister, set in January 2018. So truly, no one expected the revelation that was about to unfold when Ace shared this run. Yes, my friends, that is indeed a 19, Bunker 1 Secret Agent 19, a two-second untitled record on a stage which takes less than 20 seconds. A run so truly remarkable that most don't even know what to say about it. Four perfect one-shot cameras, saving both pauses until much later in the stage, something never seen before, flicking the camera pick with a quick turn, and yes, you can complete the camera photograph objective from here due to a quirk with how the camera can basically snap pictures through some walls. Then Ace proceeds to open the final door, pause for control saw 2.4, analyze the golden eye key, and bingo, bango, baby. It's the best golden eye world record of all time. There's a further, more meta advantage with this strategy, which is that by saving the first pause on the stage until much later, you can actually attempt all four cameras before knowing if you've failed or completed them all. So this is before you would have to quit out. Traditionally, you'd pause after the third camera, then go attempt the fourth, then decide if you're quitting out. But with the newer method, you can get more repetitions per hour, which on a scale of dozens of hours, adds up to getting many more attempts in total at this level. The fascinating revelation of this run was that it had actually been performed in 2022, more than one full year before Ace had revealed it to the world. The time was so good that Ace just didn't know what to do with it. If he should hold on to it for a horde, perhaps some kind of end times Armageddon heat death of speedrunning horde, because that's the quality of record it truly is. But ultimately, he just decided to post it. And now, here's the thing. I was around for the development of the strategy and offered Ace the final tweak needed to make this route possible. So here's some new hidden lore for you about how this run happened and how the strategy really shook out. Ace knew that 19 seconds was close to possible, even with his 20 second world record being as good as it was, but he needed one or two more changes to truly give it a chance. Ace would play this level on and off, trying to duplicate his time at 20 seconds just because it's a fun level. I mean, it demands extremely high accuracy, quick reflexes, and overall control of Bond, so it's understandable why someone of Ace's skill likes it so much. 
As often happens with these old games, Ace and another old speedrunner, Graviton, were discussing possible strategies on the stage, with Grav himself lamenting that he had never achieved his own goal time of 21 seconds, which is much like the dozens of others who have failed to do the same over the years. Ace and Grav were experimenting with later pauses on the stage, getting all four cameras before any pause, in hopes of getting that meta advantage of more reps per hour, but they couldn't quite place the pause for the camera objective anywhere where it made sense. That's where I joined the conversation and reminded them that indeed, this wacky, behind-the-wall hallway is still a fine place for the camera shot where the objective still completes. And turning to flick the camera shutter for just a few frames here probably doesn't lose very much time, if any, at least not when combined with a 2.4 control stall ending. In fact, it all might be a little bit faster, which I demonstrated by improving my own personal record from 23 to 22 seconds, which I was pretty happy with. Graviton then completed his goal time of 21 seconds, being the first person to do this in years, which he did in April 2022, and he didn't reveal this publicly until Ace posted his 19 for seemingly no apparent reason at all. These two new personal records were enough to inspire Ace that 19 might be possible with these new innovations. It still required a pretty substantial grind with many close calls and close to 100 hours played over the course of two or three weeks, but Ace was very keen to get what he knew would be the greatest GoldenEye world record ever set. And so he grinded it out, knocking this one out of the park with four concise camera shots, one headshot for the keycard guard as well. It's just truly a run of beauty. And I never say this, I truly don't, but I genuinely believe this is the first record in GoldenEye history that will never be matched. No one else has the skill and mastery required to sit down and tie this score. And I'm publishing this video as my testament to that claim. If it ever does get tied, please come back to this video and let me know. Still to this point, no one else has achieved a time of 20 seconds on the stage. Only Grav has joined the group at 21, so no one else even has 21. And I do expect to see a few more people roll in with 21s at some point over the next year or two, but there's just no incentive for anyone to play for 20 seconds on the stage. You know, it's no longer a world record, so there's less of an incentive there. And yeah, I just truly do not believe we'll ever see anyone match 19. Oh yeah, since Ace decided to finally post his times, he also threw in there some Aztec records which he had been hoarding as well. He finally revealed that he had a share of the world record on all three Aztec difficulties, including a tie of my own Aztec Double Agent 133, which was untied when I got it, but Ace matched it within one day's time. I knew he had done that as well, he revealed that to me back when he got it, but I kept this secret oath. I mean, this one makes sense as to why he didn't post it, at least a little bit more sense. He had some horrible stucks and didn't skip the body armor, which is now almost becoming conventional gameplay on the stage. But he did use the crouch glass strategy, which saves time, and he wanted something like a 129 or 127, but just never got it. His unhappiness with his 133 resulted in him not wanting to post it either. But when he finally decided to post that bunker 119, he decided it was time to post everything he had achieved over the last year. So while I truly had that Aztec double agent untitled record for about one day, I at least got to pretend as though I had it for about a year, which was nice of Ace to let me do. But the real reason Ace finally decided to reveal all his times is that his overall GoldenEye score time, that is, the time you get when adding up all 60 of his personal records, is getting down to 111.02. So he's getting close to breaking the 110.59 milestone which would be incredibly impressive and is likely just as low as one person could ever get in this game. And as mentioned, Ace could cut that all with one amazing Aztec double agent run. So he wanted to make it interesting, make his attempts at this remarkable milestone a little public and official, and that's why he decided to post all his hoarded times. Will Ace cut three more seconds of personal records? Well, knowing him, it's pretty likely to happen and all want to be around to see it and you will want to be around to see it as well. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on here to this channel 
since I'll be sure to do a video about it if such a remarkable thing were to happen in the near future. As always, a like and a comment are appreciated to help with the mystical algorithm, and if you want to support the channel and my work even more, you can check out Speedlore on Patreon, where I post the most regular updates about the ongoing Speedlore series and occasional exclusive content. With all that being said, thanks for watching, stay true my friends, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.